Hi students. So I'm going to show you how to use a really great extension called Screencastify. This is a tool that you can use to record everything that is on your screen, as well as your voice, to share your learning with your teacher. I think right now this is going to become a really helpful tool for you from home. So if I'm logged into my Chrome browser, I should see my little face up here. So if I click on this little face, I should see that I'm logged in and synced with my OCSB student account. This is really important for you to be able to access all the wonderful tools we have on our student portal. So if you haven't done that yet, make sure you download the Chrome browser onto your computer. So if you're on a MacBook, you'll wanna download the Chrome browser. Um, if you're on a PC, same thing. And if you're on a Chromebook, you should be all set and you'll see all those things up there. So you'll see extensions like the Read and Write extension and the Hapra extension, maybe Equatio, but then you'll also see this pink arrow. This pink arrow is your Screencastify extension. And so you can see when I open it up, this is what I see. If you've never used it before, you will need to set up your account. So the first time you click on it, it's going to pop up with a pop-up window. It'll prompt you to log in with your Google account, which is your OCSB student account. And it's going to um, ask you a couple questions, ask for some permissions, that kind of thing. Those are all okay, so you can allow it. You might also get a little pop-up window over here that asks you to grant your webcam and your microphone access. And those are both okay as well, because you'll need your microphone especially in order to record these videos. When you're ready to record a video, um, you're going to go to this extension as well. So let's say my teacher, for example, has asked me to do some math. Now we're going back into elementary and this is an elementary kind of model. Um, but my teacher's asked me to do some math and record my thinking about that math. So I'm gonna go up here to Screencastify. I'll click on that extension and I'm gonna have my microphone turned on and you can see with the green light that it's flickering up and down so it knows it's picking up my mic. If that's not happening, click on select and just make sure you've selected the proper microphone for your computer. If you want, you can turn on the webcam and embed a little picture of yourself in the corner of your screen. That's kind of a nice option, especially if you're you know, starting to miss your teachers and your, your fellow classmates and stuff, you can show your face. You've got the option to have a countdown start you off. So before you start, you could have a three, five or 10 second countdown to get started. I like using the three second one, but if you want a bit more think time before you start, um, five or 10 is good too. The drawing tools are great because they're going to allow you to draw all over your screen and help explain your thinking further. If I want, I can also then turn on system audio and um, that's going to capture audio if I'm playing a video or something like that in my tab. Um, and then I can also see a webcam preview. So I'm gonna start just with those settings on and I would hit the record button. What's going to happen is it's going to pop up with this little window. I'm gonna click on that and I'm going to go share. You'll now see that it's going to give me a little countdown, three, two, one, and now I'm recording my screen. So I have these options down here. I can turn on my pen and with that, I can change my colors this way and I can start explaining that this is a tree and this here is a rectangle. This is more of a square. And I used a circle over here. So I can explain all of my math thinking using those tools. If I need to collect my thoughts, I can click pause. And then I would just hit play to record again. If I make a mistake and I wanna restart, I can hit this button right here. My mouse pointer allows me to optionally put on this focused mouse so I can kind of have this little you know, dark background with a light um, showing. Um, I can also have the highlight clicks button on, which is what I, let me turn that on. So if I have highlight clicks on, then you should see it highlighting in red as I click, which clearly I haven't been able to get on properly, but that's what that does. I have an eraser, so if I need to erase what I've um, inked onto the page, I can do that. And I can also turn my webcam on here. If my video is done, I can hit this, stop button and it'll stop the recording. You'll get an extra tab popping up now with your video. And so you can see my video is playing and in the background, you'll start to see my annotations showing up on the screen and everything that I just said with my voice and thought about and drew with my fingers is going to show up on this camera. Um, oops. So if I want to, I can change this title and change it to something like maybe this is math homework, April 2nd, 2020, okay? And then I can take that link over here, it saves it to my Google Drive, and I can now share that link with my teacher. 
if I want to, I can also view this on my Google Drive. So it'll open up to my Google Drive. And I can then from here, click on the three dots. I can share it with my teacher like this, the regular way. I can also move it into my class folder. So I can click on organize and I can say, I'm gonna move this item and I'm gonna move it into my class folder. So this is my class folder for that particular class. I'm gonna move it there. And now my teacher for that class has access to it. I could also take this link and copy it and paste it into a workspace. If my teacher is using workspace, I've got some options. So that's in a nutshell how Screencastify works. And it's a great tool for you to do presentations, for you to share your thinking about a concept, or even if you're just better at explaining with your voice, it gives you that option to explain um, something that you find confusing or ask your teacher questions or something like that. If you're looking to learn more, you can actually also get certified. There is a 10 minute course that's taught by this lady named Holly Clark. Um, so if you're looking to learn a little bit more about Screencastify, I would recommend that course. So screencastify.com slash course slash masters dash the dash screencast dash junior. And that's all I have to say about using Screencastify. Good luck.